I'm joined today by event director for the Retail Technology Show, Matt Bradley, to talk about some of the exciting developments for the 2023 show. So, Matt, from an overview perspective, tell us about the Retail Technology Show. Well, thanks, Phil. Good to speak to you. It's um, it's been a while, hasn't it? So it's been um, so. The, so the Retail Technology Show we launched in 2022, so earlier this year, after a um, an enforced break um, through the COVID restrictions and things like that. And um, yeah, it, it was it was very very successful. It was a, it's a it's a retail tech show aimed at retailers looking to uh, to purchase technology that will help influence their business, make it run more profitably. Um, and yeah, we, we, you know, it, it was incredibly successful in year one with over 6,000 visitors, uh, around 200 exhibitors, and um, you know, certainly enough of encouragement to build on for, um, for 2023. And I was actually one of those visitors, and it was a brilliant show, saw lots of Popeye members there, and I came away from that thinking, you know, this is a great opportunity for Popeye. Um, so moving on from that, specifically with the Popeye Village, tell us a bit about that and how you see that fitting in. Well, I think, you know, you know being too, totally honest, that the plan was initially to, to build the show for a couple of years, um, build out the brand, make sure that it was, um, you know, working for the industry, and then start looking at some sort of strategic partnerships. And, um, you know, you and I have worked together in the past on various projects. Um, but, I mean, there, there was two things that really happened. One, that the show was incredibly successful and it allowed us to sort of build on that success quite quickly um, and sort of fast track know our next stages and secondly obviously a, a chance meeting in the rain with you and i uh outside euston station that sort of fast forwarded everything that we wanted to do and you know we had a very sort of quick chat while we were sort of protecting ourselves from the rain and, and thought well you know why are we waiting that there seems to be an opportunity here we ha we know from our um from our uh, from feedback that we've had from the visitors that there, there's definitely a um you know a hunger for, for popeye members and, and, and building sure. that out a bit and um you know you, you sort of gave me sort of similar feedback in our in our um in our chat on um in that day and uh, specifically looking at the exhibitors i mean look this is an obvious question but who do you think should come to the popeye village and 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 why you know what's the what's the real draw for them to to take part i mean we're lucky that we've already got a few people such as chep signed up but yeah, what's the yeah. what's the elevator pitch, Matt? Well, <laughs> listen, I'd have to leave that to my sales team, but certainly it's um, there's an opportunity here to to interact with with, with key retailers, um, and you know that, that are very difficult to target and nail down on on a, on a day to day basis. And we expect over ten thousand of those retailers to be attending in the twenty twenty three edition. So, with that, with a dedicated area, with a dedicated theatre as well that we're putting on, um, which will have you know exclusive exhibitor content. I think there's a, there's a really really good opportunity for for those you know suppliers that are looking to um, to, to reach out and target you know, key UK and, and European retailers. And um, I'm going to finish on a sixty four thousand dollar question, um, quite pertinent. Very recently, you announced a date change. Um, mm. In a sense, just just run us through that because it's actually quite exciting. Yeah, it's well. Yeah, it is exciting. It's it's been a you know it's just thought that we've been sort of mulling over for for a, for a bit of time now. We've had some feedback from exhibitors that have said, you know, if you're doubling the size of the show, if you're doubling the number of exhibitors, you know, it, how is build up going to be affected? Um, and build up is obviously an, you know vital part of the show, and we don't want people to be struggling. We don't want people to be under pressure. So we've added an additional day build up, which has therefore pushed the actual show dates back by just one day. So rather than being the Tuesday and Wednesday, it will now be the Wednesday and Thursday. I mean, it's just, if you look at it in terms of the size of the show, it's great news. Um, we're really looking forward to it. Can't wait to be there. Um, and for all the Popeye members uh, watching this video, please do get in touch with the Retail Technology Show sales team and talk to them about your stand for next year. Matt, thank you very much. Cheers, Phil. Thanks, mate.